209 20th year limited anniversary edition. This is the 209 model. So you got pull start, Honda motor, of course, hydrostatic drive controlled by the Ford and reverse rolling handlebars. Ease of maintenance, you got your hydrostatic filter right on the side, easy access. Reservoir on top with access right there on the black lid on the top of the machine. Forward and reverse on your tiller tines is right here below the operator handles for ease of use. So we're ready to do some tilling here this morning and to show you just how easy this is we're going to attempt to do it with just one hand. The power dog is a heavy unit so you've got a lot of weight to deal with which makes it a lot easier to operate than a lightweight unit. Right there you have your forward or reverse tines. You can see where the handle shows you. Push it forward. If you're going to have your forward tines operating make sure your safety switch down. Now we're operating. We can drop right down in the earth. As soon as I drop into this cornfield, it's going to want to move forward a little bit, but the weight of the machine helps me a lot. Now I'm just going to roll this handle forward real gently, and I'm off to the races. <clears throat> because I'm operating with one hand, I'm going to be very cautious to not go quickly. As soon as I hit a rock there and the machine wants to jump, of course the weight of the machine is helping me a lot, but I just simply let the handle roll back and that allows the machine to slow down. You know, historically when my grandfather was running an old horse, those old machines, he'd put it in drive gear and if you hit a rock, that thing would jump out of the garden. I remember one time he crawled up the side of a garage because you had to get it shut off in time. That's not the case with the Power Dog. Very easy to operate. As you're moving forward, you can adjust the speed carefully on the fly. Let it process that rock. You can't really see it that well. My wrist is moving constantly, adjusting the speed, even dropping the speed to zero whenever I want to. So here I'm operating at kind of a comfortable but slow speed. If I had two hands, I'd probably go a little bit faster. There we just hit a big rock. But as soon as we hit that rock, I rolled my wrist back, even automatically. And the machine stopped and I'm ready to go. The rock is processed through. 